first suspected Afghan coronavirus cases are held in the isolation ward of Herat Hospital. The first confirmed patient, a 35-year-old man who just returned from Qom, the epicenter of the outbreak in Iran. We don't have proper means to deal with patients. The medical staff is also in danger. The virus can be transferred to us during the checkups. We don't have proper gloves, masks or protective clothes. This is a very big risk to us. Detection is slow. Samples are sent to Kabul for testing. Health Ministry officials say they are prepared in case the outbreak spreads. We allocated 10 beds at least in provincial hospitals, more than 13 uh, regional hospitals. But uh, uh, like any other country of the world, Afghanistan is also vulnerable. And uh, the positive cases in Iran has increased the vulnerability of Afghanistan as well. This hospital for communicable diseases in Kabul, donated by Japan, has been designated to treat coronavirus patients in the capital. But it's a far cry from the reality in the rest of the country. The health system here is in poor condition and can barely cope with its daily needs. There's a shortage of everything, from medicine to equipment to trained nurses and doctors, and even there are not enough facilities around the country. And about 50% of Afghans live under the poverty line. Like everything else here, healthcare has suffered from four decades of war. There are fewer than three doctors for every 10,000 Afghans and one bed per 20,000 people. In some remote areas, the shortages are even worse. The province of Herat has been declared a medical emergency area. Wedding halls and other places of public gatherings are temporarily shut. But border crossings with Iran have reopened after a two-day closure. Thousands of workers 